on the third day of Christmas, I'm gonna give to you um, snowman macarons. Puts hands up and backs away. Macarons, if you haven't had macaron, it's not a macaroon. A macaroon is a coconut sugar based cookie that is completely different. Macarons, however, are the light, soft, fluffy, yet supple cookie that is usually of a sandwich type of nature. Batter is very easy to make, however, these are a very finicky cookie. So if for some reason, the first try doesn't come out right, please try again. And just alter your oven cooking temperatures as well as your cooking time because everyone's oven is slightly different, unfortunately. So let's get started. For this recipe, we'll need one and a half cups of powdered sugar, three egg whites, one cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar, and vanilla and mint extract. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to beat our egg whites and cream of tartar on medium speed until frothy. In the meanwhile, we're going to sift our confectioner's sugar and our almond flour through a fine, fine mesh sieve into a large bowl. And we're just going to press down with the rubber spatula to pass as much as possible. And you want to do this in parts. Don't try to do everything at once. Whatever is left over in that sieve, just go ahead and throw it away. Once our egg whites are frothy, we're going to add our granulated sugar a little bit at a time while we mix the egg whites until it reaches a stiff peak. And you want to beat the egg whites until they are shiny and stiff. As you can see, mine kind of look like shaving cream. So I may have went a little bit too far with my egg whites, but it still came out really, really good. So we're going to transfer our egg whites to our flour mixture. And we're going to begin to fold everything together. So we want to cut in half. We want to turn the bowl. We want to keep as much fluffiness and air into this batter as possible. And you want to mix until the batter is smooth and it falls off of the spatula in a thin ribbon. This is my template. I actually added larger circles to all of the smaller circles by using the outline of a K-cup. And then as you can see, I put my batter in a piping bag with a medium-sized tube tip. And we are just going to hold our piping bag up vertically. And we want to just apply pressure. You don't even have to really move your piping bag until you're ready to completely lift up off of that baking mat. And I do highly recommend using a silicone baking mat over parchment paper. It makes a lot of difference. To take away those peaks, I just dip my finger in some water. And I'm just going to tap them lightly. And you want these to sit out. And it could be up to an hour so that when you touch them, they are non-tacky. Now these are going to bake in a 300 degree preheated oven for about 20 minutes. I made some vanilla buttercream, I added a little bit of lemon flavoring, and I'm going to pipe a little bit of my lemon buttercream onto the flat side of a cookie and then sandwich it by adding another cookie on top. I'm going to use corn syrup to act as edible glue for my cookies so that I can apply my sugar pearls to them. And you can use silver pearls, you can use the white ones. And we're going to apply about three or four of these to every cookie. I made a little bit of red buttercream. I have blue and orange and they're all in little sandwich baggies. And I just cut the very, very, very tip off and then you can decorate a scarf onto each cookie. You can do all kinds of colors. The noses are ridiculously easy, you're just piping a little dot of orange buttercream into the center and you're just going to make a cute little peak there. And I do have some really, really cute Christmas tree and star decorations that I'm going to add to the snowman as well.
And I'm going to use some gel dye for the eyes. And that is about it. These are adorable, cute little snowman macarons. And as you can see, I also made some regular macarons. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and try this recipe out. It is so delicious. Couture and snowman macarons. Bye, guys. You know that feeling when you receive a large check, you feel somewhat content, you feel overly excited, you feel stable, but you also feel like you can do anything. If you ask me, a macaron almost brings out the same kind of feelings within myself. I hope that you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know what you might want to see next for 12 Days of Christmas. I've got my fourth day of Christmas video coming for you guys soon, as well as a giveaway. So subscribe if you haven't done so already, and like this video, and be my friend for life. You can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, on my fan page, as well as everything else. Um, if you look up, you'll see my hashtag on Mars because you can follow me there as well. So, I'll see you guys next time, bye.